YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I've been waiting almost a year from this shirt. It is from UES. It's their 15 and a half ounce Tricotine shirt. And let me tell you, it is a beast. <music> So let me give you a bit of backstory about this shirt. Now, your favorite shop doesn't always stock every single shirt that a company makes. And this is no different with this UES shirt. You always find the UES flannels in most of the stores that you go to, Redcast, Heritage, Self Edge, blah, blah, blah. All of those places will stock all the standard stuff. But there are certain items that they don't bother getting in because maybe they can't sell it or for whatever reason. This is one of those shirts. I have never heard of this shirt until last year. And it was only because a guy on Instagram called Bird, you may know him as Fade and Patina. I'll put the link down below. Uh, bought this for the Indigo Invitational. And then since then, I've just been following along his journey on just wearing this thing day in, day out. And if you haven't seen his Instagram, go and check it out, Fade and Patina. And it shows you the journey of when he got this and how it is looking now. And it looks amazing. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna be wearing it every single day like Bird is, but if it looks anything like how he has it, then I'm gonna be very, very happy. Now we know that UES fly under the radar sometimes. A lot of people don't really know much about them. They do really good t-shirts, the UES Ramanyana t-shirt. They also do some really, really good flannels. And I've got another flannel from UES coming next week or the week after, so stay tuned for that. And I have a, a really heavy uh, indigo flannel from them I bought a few years ago, and that is just thick as, I think that's 15 and a half ounce, a different kind of fabric. Uh, and I've just really fallen in love with that. They're really good at heavy weight fabrics. And this one is an absolute beast. So this is, a, as I said, it's their Tricotine t-shirt. It is a, a different kind of fabric. It is a, a, a certain type of twill. So we know that it's gonna get very soft over time, but at, out of the box, it is a very coarse, a very dense, a very thick kind of shirt. And it's indigo uh, rope dyed as well. So it will fade like an absolute beast. And it already does go to those YouTube, uh, go to those uh, Instagrams and take a look uh, it is dripping in indigo basically and it is just uh, it's a it's built like a tank so if you're someone that works outdoors I uh, work in a really colder climate you want something like a almost a, a, a overshirt or a, a shacket as they call it this is the, uh, the the shirt for you I say shacket because it is so hefty and so big uh, in terms of how it feels that you can easily wear this over you know your normal uh, flannel if you wanted to I like to wear it as just a shirt in itself uh, it does come down really long, so kind of long on the body. So this comes over my, uh, you know, the back of it comes down over my bum uh, and the sleeves are still a little bit long, like maybe a, 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 um, an Ironheart flannel, but they, they're gonna come back as the, uh, the heavy fabric creases in the arms as well. So yeah, as I said, it's a very dense, uh, fine cotton twill weave. And on the inside, it kind of reminds me of the Kersey work shirt that uh, Ironheart put out. Uh, it's got that kind of same pattern to it, that same kind of texture to it. Uh, and it's a bit rough and it's almost neppy as well on the outside that you, you can see the, the bobbles and, and bubbles to it. And you can literally see the, uh, the, the indigo dripping off it. This is a shirt that is very obvious that if you really put the time and effort into it, you'll be rewarded with a, a shirt that is soft, supple, molded to your body, you know, molded to the way you wear it because on the whole, uh, as it comes like this, it is almost like cardboard. It, I'd liken it to a brand new pair of denim or a brand new denim jacket. You know you get it on there, it's boxy, it's all a bit uh, maybe uncomfortable. Uh, so this is how this feels. The, the I would say that this is UES, man, like the, the, the stitching and the, and the construction is amazing. It's triple stitched. Uh, bottoms on the hems there the stitching throughout is you know the same kind of blue it's just impeccable uh, the only thing I would say is I would I think this would be an absolutely immense shirt if they made this in a Western uh, I do love the fit of this work shirt uh, but I, when you get a hefty shirt sometimes I feel the, the cat size buttons are, you know, tend to be a bit like, oh, the, the weak point. They never do come off. I've never had any buttons come off any shirts, but sometimes I've had flannels uh, and really heavy shirts like this with these buttons and you can feel after a few years, they're, they're you know, they can flick them and they're starting to, to, to get a bit loose. So if this came in a Western, oh my days, uh, absolutely amazing. I've only managed to wear this, I think twice. Here's how it came this week. Uh, this is the unboxing, uh, just so you guys can see how you get things. This came direct from UES. Now, 
I'll put the links down below uh, to, I think it's only about Redcast Heritage I can find that really retail this and they've sold out, obviously that was the last year. So save that link to Redcast Heritage and keep an eye, I imagine it'll be coming very soon because uh, we're coming into you know winter now and uh, UES do a pre-order kind of uh, deal. So I pre-ordered this from them last year. I think it was like in, you know, December or something like that when everything was sold out and then they send it out to the people that pre-order it. So I've received this this week and I imagine all the stores that are getting it will receive it uh, in the next couple of weeks. So uh, I imagine Redcast will get it again if they've sold out. I don't know who else will be getting it. So keep an eye on that link below so you can get your, your version. Now, sizing wise, I got my usual size in a UES, which is a size three. So all my UES flannels are size three. Uh, which it translates to a large in everything else, large in Ironheart, you know, all the other brands. Uh, I do, like I said, it, it is, because it's fresh out of the box, it's very boxy. Uh, it is long in the sleeves-ish, but they, I know they come back because my flannels uh, have done that. It uh, is really long in the body though. I'll show you on this B-roll, but it comes down over my ass. Now, um, Bird on fade and, pat fade and Patina has said that it will shrink up. Even though on the websites uh, uh, that retail they say it is one wash, even UES say it's one wash, no shrinkage. Uh, Bird said that he's did uh, shrink up a little bit. I, look, to be honest, I can't imagine it. You know, just miraculously comes into the perfect fitting shirt uh, in terms of length. So if you if you're someone that doesn't like a long shirt in the body, maybe not for you. Uh, it is like we said, very much a shacket kind of overshirt, but uh, yeah, a really, really good one. I have seen one site say that these run small and, and maybe take a size larger. I'd be cautious, maybe that was last year's one. I took true to size and I think, I def definitely would not be going larger. If anything, I'd be going down. Uh, I, I think uh, true to size is, is, is fine for me. Uh, now, price-wise, they uh, are they're in line with like flannels, etc. They're about 255 US, uh, and I think uh, pounds are about 217. I can't remember what I paid direct from UBS. Obviously, I had to pay import fees from Japan, so it does work out more expensive. I think it was like 200 pounds, and I think I paid like 60 pounds from customs. But I wanted to get this early and make sure I got it. So I think. It's so thick and so heavy. I think it's a great shirt, great value for money. It's just definitely a shirt that, or a jacket or a jacket, that is um, is gonna last you a very long time. So your price per wear and your value for money on this is gonna be immense. Uh, I'd, you know, definitely be getting your money's worth for this instead of buying, say, a 100 pound t-shirt, which I've done many times. Uh, so yeah, I, I really think it's really a shirt that you should look out for. One that is not very much stocked in a lot of stores. I think I said Redcast Heritage, Withered Fig, I think have it, but I can't really find anyone in the UK that stocks this. Uh, UES Direct do stock it, so you can go there and, and order it from them. But uh, it's, a, it's a sleeper, man. Honestly, if you can get yourself one of these, uh, I highly recommend it. Last but not least, the stuff that uh, you'll see, you've seen in the unboxing video, but UES are really cool when they send you stuff. Uh, obviously there's a tag for it. it's the uh, 502256 uh, size 3 if you're looking for it 502256 uh, whenever they get anything from UBS they always put little goodies in the bag I've had stuff before not that it's not worth much money but they're giving me a little uh, car carabiner uh, with UBS manufacturing on it so, uh, before I've had buttons from them as well like you know those kind of buttons that they give you just when you put in your leather jacket uh, and they've also given me a little uh, thank you thing so hi Cameron Hi Cameron, dear Cameron, thank you very much for your patience. Thanks again for introducing UES on your YouTube. I hope you enjoy wearing it. Many thanks, many thanks, Sayo. So thank you guys, appreciate it. Yes, I, I do uh, love your stuff and I uh, hope to be buying more of it very, very soon. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what I say guys. If you're anywhere in the world, it's really, you can, you, sometimes I think buying stuff from Japan is very difficult. Uh, but I've bought from UES direct a number of times and it's uh, pretty smooth. So if not a little bit more expensive with the import fees, but uh, if you want something that they don't stock anywhere else, that's your go-to. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. What? That's just a quick look. I'm gonna start wearing that as it gets uh, colder. It's really hot here in the UK at the minute, so I can't really wear it. I'm gonna wear it for a few months over the winter, see how it looks, uh, give you guys an update. Um, as I said, follow Fade and Patina on uh, um, Instagram and you can see how his looks, which is amazing. Uh, and, and that's it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you've got this, uh, I'd love to know where you got it from, how you're finding it, or if you're intending to get it, because uh, I'll be dropping those links down below. I uh, hope you uh, like that. I appreciate all the comments and all the, 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 the well wishes for the baby. Really, thank you so much. I'm so sleep deprived 
I've had about 14 coffees today just to get this video done. So I appreciate it. Um, and with all that being said, guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.